are watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning with Ron Hoon, Rick D'Amico, Andrea Robinson, Kristen Anderson, and Corey McCloskey in HD. And a local company is hoping to help uh, victims from the Boston Marathon bombing what they have to offer that could change lives. Well, yesterday, Kristen Anderson talked to a Scotsdale woman who ran in a relay race across the country to raise money for the Boston bombing victims. 16 people lost limbs from the Boston bombing. One Tempe company hopes to help the victims who lost feet with a new state-of-the-art prosthetic. So Christy Siefkin did this story, and here is her report. Hey, Christy. This is the Rush Foot, a new prosthetic that offers amputees the flexibility and durability to tackle everything from walking to competitive sports. I like to ride off-road motorcycles. Um, I like to go wakeboarding. I like to wake surf. I like to go to the beach. Stephen Osborne also likes to run, snowboard, and play basketball, all using Ability Dynamics Rush Foot. An amputee since age 14, Stephen spent many years wearing traditional prosthetics, which are made from heavy heavy, inflexible carbon fiber. This is an example of a carbon foot, one that's been pretty popular over the past 20 years. And as we look in more closely, you'll notice the nuts and bolts in addition to a split up the middle of the foot. Now in comparison, the rush foot is a lot more streamlined, doesn't have any nuts or bolts, and as a result, is virtually indestructible. Ability Dynamics clinical manager Richard Sines admits he was a bit apprehensive to try the new foot when it hit the market a year ago. A congenital amputee Amputee. Richard's been wearing various prosthetics since he was about two and says he's broken almost every carbon foot. But he's yet to snap the rush foot's durable flexion material. We've had uh, an overwhelming amount of feedback from patients that are saying uh, not only is this flexible and it feels much more like my ankle, uh, but we're also getting patients overwhelmingly giving feedback that it's incredibly smooth. Richard says the rush foot can go in the water and endure extreme temperatures. These are key features for athletes, like those who lost limbs in the Boston Marathon bombings. Just like those victims, Stephen lost his limb unexpectedly when he was run over by a boat on Saguaro Lake. Being tall and wanting to play athletics and basketball was my passion. And then in a matter of seconds, to be an amputee and be uneducated, didn't know what a prosthesis was, how it worked. I thought I'd be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. Although Stephen was initially in shock, he's clearly ended up on his feet. He wants the bombing victims to know that after 25 years using a prosthetic, he's still running, boarding, and dribbling the ball. All those things are still there for you. They're still there for all of us. Just because you're an amputee doesn't inhibit you from doing any of those things. That's awesome. Kind of gives people a second chance at life when you think about it. Yeah, it costs $2,500. And Ability Dynamics is offered to provide the rush foot to any victims of the Boston bombing who may not otherwise have access to the technology. So yeah. that's, that's a good deal. Yeah, that that's is great. a really good deal. Yeah.